Good morning, good morning, it's Jill AQ from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another acrylic pour. I think I'm going to go for the um, kiss and blow on this uh, lovely canvas here. Got some goodies that I've had arrive from Capriole Shabby Chic. So I think I showed you the other day, they have now got the spirit levels in stock which I really needed to, um, I'll just put it like that. You can check if your canvas is level. So that obviously, oh, I've got stuff on it. So there you go. That bubble should be in the middle. So it needs lifting to there. So they're really excellent for you to have a spirit level. Keep it in your little arsenal of acrylic pouring gadgets because you need to see that your canvas is level so when you do a pour that it doesn't all run off one end and it's also got the bonus of a measuring tape on the top so you can measure things so that was a great little thing now I've also I've also got the um, little turntables in now so you and it's all sort of rubberized so you can put this under under the tap and give it a good wash off um, so great for your smaller uh, little tiles and things for your spin pours. So they have these in stock now. And so I will be using this in the coming weeks. And they've got lots of great stencils. So you can either uh, use those to embellish pours or use them on furniture. So some great little items that I've been sent as goodies. So I'm very happy. Thank you Capriol Shabby Chic. Very happy with those to try out. And I've been waiting for my wonderful, wonderful tripod easel. And it's in hot pink, purple. Well, it says purple, it looks hot pink to me. So that's for my camera or your, um, I think it'd go, you can put an attachment on for your iPhone or your iPad. But look, this tripod, Oh no, metallic tripod easel. I thought that's for my camera. Oh, there you go, look even better. It's an easel as well. But I can put my camera on there. I've got a fitment that I can adjust for that. So I'm gonna get that out and have a good look at it. But I was so excited to show you all my gadgets that I've got. So I like to let you know when there's new products on the market or a Cabriol Shabby Chic, so. Good old, uh, all good to go. Right, I did a pour earlier. There we go. So, hope that's in frame for you. Let's get started. So, I'm going to use my big hair dryer for uh, to blow this one about because it is a bigger canvas. So, what I did this time is as been everybody's advised, and I've seen I've got to thin my paints quite a lot for the. Um, the Dutch pour and my Aussie kiss. So I'm doing the kiss and blow. And I did it the other day. I'm not sure if you've seen the video, but my, yeah, the camera went and carked it halfway through my pour. It, it stopped and, and I didn't get to show you guys my secret ingredient. And so I'm kind of trying to recreate that pour um, and show you how I did it. After my spatula, that's good. Try that. So, I, I just as easy use my fingers. I've got to slow down. I'm trying to rush this because I don't like making my videos too long. I don't want you to get, you know, bored with. Go, hurry up, hurry up. Um, so, but I really should slow down. And if you sort of, I suppose, really, I've got to think about it because if you guys want to skip bits, you can just fast forward me and if you don't like me talking then you can just turn the volume down. there's so many things you can do nowadays when you don't you're in a hurry or you don't want to certain parts that you want to skip along so i suppose i should, shouldn't be the one to worry about that that's the viewer i suppose but i like to try and you know not be too long for you guys try and give you my best but in the shortest amount of time so it, i've just basically flooded that canvas with white um, to start with. So I'm trying to recreate my little magic 
uh, ingredient that I found that just give the most wonderful effect. So I am using the Montmartre. I'm using the Montmartre pouring paints, and all I've done is I've watered these ones down with water. There's no silicone in them. Um, in these particular paints so they're just watered down because I'm told less is best you've got to water them down to look good so I'm trying I'm trying I wanted to do this in the garland style so I'm gonna just do the very edges of my canvas sort of in a circle motion -y thing so I still want it to kind of be my kiss and pour a uh, kiss and blow so that is the red. I've got the uh, sh um, Shiraz now. I wanted to do the great balls of fire that I did the other day and it, it was, <laughs> like I said, my camera stopped and didn't get it all. So I'll try and recreate it again. See how I go, see how I go. We've got this orange in there so I'm trying to keep to the same tone so if they kind of blow and they mix they're not going to go muddy but they're going to look like great balls of fire and I think I'm making the same mistake again because I'm putting too much paint but this time I'll blow off the other way first so I don't get too much paint blowing onto the canvas yeah just a lighter version of the orange with a bit of white in it. And because I want to do the kisses around the the frame of the canvas, that's why I need a little bit extra paint in there. So my kisses will show up nicely. It's kind of just framing it. No, no, no. I'm not going to put my secret ingredient just yet. I think I might. I can't remember if I put it in at this stage or. Okay, my secret ingredient is if you've watched a few of my paintings, my secret ingredient is. Well, it isn't this colour, but it's the Boom Gel Stain. I just mixed water in with it and a bit of the Boom Cell Booster. Boom Booster it's called. It's made by the same company. You can get it in the US and Canada. They have distributors. There's a link for the Boom Gel Stain below this video if you're, if you're anywhere but Australia. And if you click on the Boom Gel and go into their site, they'll give you the stockists that are in each other country. If you're in Australia, of course you're lucky enough to have Capriol Shabby Chic. So I'll put a bit of this secret ingredient in mixing it in like this. Still going to put it around the frame. This is a oh, secret ingredient. And you can see already, look at those little Oh my goodness, look at the little um, cells that it's just popping up without doing anything whatsoever to it. Oh, there you go. Secret, Jilly's Secret. Now you all know Jilly's Secret. Shh, don't tell anyone. Can you hear that rain? We've got a really rainy day here in Queensland. Rightio, I'm going to just... Just put a bit of heat on there. Take out me bubbles. You can see that's selling up already. Holy dooly. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Looky looky. That's, I did nothing to that. I'm going to get me big dryer. Blow dryer. Hair dryer. Thingy doover. I'm going to just check on my camera because it keeps carking it on me. Not happy Jan. Maybe it's when I keep changing the plugs. You're still with me, so that is great. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for staying with me. I appreciate it. Really, really do. Okay. Oh, look at those effects without doing anything. I think I'm going to keep it like that. All right. I'm going to try blowing outwards 
Oh, let's just try this bit here. action in this. Unbelievable. I'm going to blow it over the edges now so I get my edges covered nicely. Ah! That's not how I want it to go, but I know if I keep blowing it, it's gonna end up all over my canvas and I didn't want that, so. But look what that simple bit of boom boost with the boom gel has done to this. My white was just the Montmartre Studio acrylic mixed with Floetrol and water. I've made the same mistake again that I wanted a nice big white space in there and I haven't got it. So, not sure if I should scrape that probably gonna really stuff it up if I do that early dooly done the same again look I mean look how it has absolutely burst into life um, maybe I can um, when I do my balloon kissing I might just fill the center up like a posy maybe maybe not so I just wanted to do the balloon kissing with this little balloon that's just got, or it's an ordinary size balloon, it's just got some water in it. Just gives it that bit of weight to push into your canvas. So I just wanted to do around the very frame of the canvas. So as I'm pushing in the little balloon kisses, it's just popping up all these gorgeous little lacy cells from that boom booster and the um, boom gel paint working really lovely together so i've had fun this week with the uh, just discovering new things with the paints so it's all heaps of fun i've had new puppies they're um nine eight days nine days old now i think i'm losing track of time um so I will put a little bit of puppy cam on for those that love the puppies either at the beginning or the end of this uh, video. So let me know what you think but I need to learn myself not to put so much paint or blow it back this way first which I meant to do but of course I did a boo boo again I just got carried away excited I'm just doing a little balloon kissing around the edge. Not sure what to do with this kind of, well, say black hole, but it's a white hole, isn't it? <laughs> so I just could add some, because the whole composition of it is do totally off, because it's not, not that I like anything, um, I don't like things central and perfect. I like things off, off center. I like off centered people. <laughs> there you go. So much fun. All right. Well, I know that that middle bit is not 
doing it so I might leave it for the paints to just dry off and absorb into the canvas and then I'll work out what to do with the middle bit I might just blow it around but this is an absolute explosion of cells that you get from that uh, boom gel just that little bit mixed in with um, well as I mixed it with the Montmartre pouring paints I didn't mix it in with them I did you know but it's got both kinds of paints on this particular canvas and that is absolute color explosion it's so bright and uplifting and all of us need that at the moment so do something that makes you happy whether it's these colors or earthy tones or whatever colors you like that is absolutely gorgeous I, I, anybody got any suggestions what i could or couldn't have done i wish you were all on um live i'll have to do a live one one day but uh, i'd have to have a few people here answering all the questions or seeing how we went anyway thank you so much for joining me thanks for subscribing to my channel as you know i absolutely appreciate each and every one of you wait for the end to um see the dry photos and i hope that you enjoy my doggy cam if you look on my um youtube channel i've put a couple of videos as well of just just of the puppies alone not on my artwork so and the mommy and there's a little quick one and a half minute video of a day in my life and my town where i live in queensland australia so you might want to have a look there's are on my channel so until next time folks bye for now i'll try and remember to pop on my nana joke take care take care of each other hi guys i hope you like that little pour with my secret ingredient my previously one did work out better my joke for the day is my wife is like a newspaper there's a new issue every day as suspected somebody has been adding soil to my garden the plot thickens you may eye roll okay bye for now guys